very um, concerned that we have another uh, COVID-19 related death in Antigua and Barbuda. I'm always concerned when we have an additional case, and particularly I'm concerned when we have a death. Uh, this, we know, of course, from um, so since when the pandemic began globally, that COVID-19 can give us a spectrum of mild, moderate, severe, and critical disease. And of course, in some cases, death. We know, of course, that there have been 1.5 million deaths globally. So we know it's a disease, although it can have mild or moderate um, effects, it can also have severe and critical disease leading resulting in death. And that's something we always have to be mindful of when we have a case of COVID-19. So um, once we became aware of this case, the epidemiology and surveillance team immediately started contact tracing. We have identified a number of contacts um, and they have been categorized according to uh, the, the, the nature of the contact, a very close contact, close contact, etc. And we've already started doing investigations on those contacts. We have um, in excess of, I would say, 15 to 20 persons that we are following as well. In relation to that case alone, the public they reminded to remain vigilant. COVID 19 is still there. They, they're still seeing an increasing number of cases globally, and of course, in Antigua and Barbuda. We have to remember that there are public health measures that can control the spread of the disease. Washing your hands frequently, hand sanitizing, cough and sneeze etiquette, wearing a mask when out in public or if you're coming into contact with somebody who is not sure of their status. Um, social distancing, limiting the gatherings that you attend, limiting the number of persons to 25. Um, if it is at all that you have to host a gathering or attend a gathering, um, and also physical distancing, maintaining six feet between persons. These things are critical as you move forward. I know it's been since March, it's been a while, and persons tend to be complacent, but the Ministry of Health is really imploring that persons remain vigilant with these social and public health measures that we know can control the spread of COVID-19. A particular note to the elderly, we still um, understanding that persons who are older, persons who smoke, persons with underlying non-clinical diseases, such as diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and cancer, they are at this increased risk of developing severe and critical disease and to die from COVID-19. So urging persons to fall into those categories to be extra vigilant with this, uh, public health and social measures wearing the mask and washing. And if you develop any symptoms of COVID, fever, cough, shortness of breath, loss of smell or taste, general weakness, to please seek health care immediately.